What's up, everybody? Yeah, it's Friday, so once again, I'm here to give you guys another interpretation. Um, I want to give you my my impression on the House of Morosk, Al Andalus. Al Andalus. Um, if anybody knows about the Moors, Al Andalus was a prominent provenance of the Moors, um, and what you get when you have a fragrance like that with that type of name. You're gonna get luxury, opulence. Um, close the roof, y'all can hear me. You're gonna get luxury and opulence with a fragrance with that name. Um, this one here, to me, is one of the best fresh, spicy, invigorating fragrances without any citruses in it. Um, it opens up with saffron, black pepper, and ginger. And ginger in the springtime, man, that's one of the best notes you put in your skin. Most people get ginger um, and don't know what they're smelling. You think they're smelling a citrus note, and it's actually ginger, man. That thing, once it pops off your skin with the right wood base, you got something special. Um, so this one, like I said, it opens up with a very nice ginger note, black pepper, give it a fresh, fresh spicy kick with saffron, one of the most luxurious uh, notes that you could put in fragrance right now. Leads into a nice mid heart note of oud, a nice agarwood, which is the medicinal, slightly medicinal kind of agarwood, not the stanky kind, not the um, the barnyard feel uh, of oud. It's not a sweet oud. It's a nice, light medicinal oud, which gives it the opulence and luxury that you want out of this fragrance. Um, and then it leads into the base, and the base, this fragrance, it, it lends itself in every layer having its proper place. They all meld together, one doesn't top the other, and the top heart notes still shine through throughout the life of the fragrance, which is about six hours. Um, and to get back to it, the base of this fragrance, you're gonna have tolu balsam, which makes it slightly balsamic, slightly resinous. You're gonna have labdanum, and the labdanum used in this one is a soft suede, um, almost like a a butter soft leather suede smell uh, oil that you get with the labdanum off this one nicely done very nicely done along with my favorite note sometimes you guys hear me uh, often speaking about the vetiver and this one here is the um the smoky vetiver not the light fresh lemony lemongrass type of vetiver but a nice smoked vetiver with um birch and th that birch makes this in particular one of the better fragrances that I smell to date. Uh, not many people talk about this fragrance. This profile might not be that um, special to some, but for me, smelling all these different fragrances throughout the years, this one here being so unique um, and so pleasant, but at the same time being a luxury and elegant, I can't go wrong with it. I love pulling this one out in the springtime. So if you guys can get your nose on Al Andalus by the House of Morosk, uh, I don't think you'll be very disappointed. You know, that birch, that oud, that saffron, and that ginger, once you put that on your skin, man, I just, like today, uh, last couple of weeks, I wasn't gonna do any uh, videos. I didn't have the time to sit and really contemplate what I wanted to say, but this one here was a uh, off the head because uh, today, just going out, wearing it, smelling it, and getting a couple compliments on it. It's like, you know what, I got it. I know what to say about this one. I know how this one feels on the skin. Let me go ahead and explain it to it. So all in all, what you're gonna get is a nicely done spring fragrance that'll lead to mid um, summer, not too hot in the summer, not 90 degrees, but a nice 50 to 80 degree weather. This one's gonna shine. Suits, office, date nights, um, you're gonna enjoy it. So you guys have a great weekend. Um, be safe out here and spray away. Talk to y'all later.